Hello and welcome to the Canvas Fast Track. In this two and a half minute video, we will discuss how, where, and why linking handouts and worksheets in Canvas can be a direct substitution for technology integration. Even if you're not ready for students to submit these online, this is a great way to defeat the backpack monster or dog eating homework stories. Don't reinvent the wheel or even type the wheel again. Is it a PDF, a Google Doc, a Word Doc? These can all easily be shared and referenced for students to download and then make them their own. Make it a common routine on how your students will find, access, and work with your worksheets and handouts. Handouts or worksheets can be distributed anywhere in Canvas. The thing to think about is where is the most lo realistic location to place them for students to have access. Many folks look at the files area because they're adding a file to the course. But is that the most realistic location for your students to try and access materials that might be time sensitive? Think about placing them in an assignment with a nice to-do list item, due date, they will show up on their calendar so they know what they need to do and when they need to do it by. Or possibly think about placing them in a module, a unit of study. Is this something that the students will need to reference multiple times throughout that unit? In a future fast track, we will discuss modular design and labeled headings. The desired outcome will help drive the best location for students to access your handouts. Do you want them to collaborate, demonstrate understanding, fill in the blank, or create something new? That will help with driving where your students should access your information. Finally, based upon the device your students are using, there will be various delivery methods that might work best for them. Be mindful of your students and the desired outcome. There is no way to say what is the only way they should receive information. Instead, what is going to be easiest for your students and for yourself with the digital tools you have access to? In future videos, there will be examples that include some device-specific LTIs that might help with annotation and recording capabilities for students to use and teachers to gather work and deliver feedback. Thanks for watching. Please comment below if you have any other requests or suggestions for future Fast Track videos.